Greetings everybody, the honcho of all spirits is back with another PC tutorial video. Welcome back dear patrons and welcome first timers who are taking a quick pit stop here in virtue of this Windows first world problem we are going to solve. As one of the victims in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you on how to sort out this issue whereby the Windows App Store is acting up and deterring you from downloading, installing, and or updating existing desktop apps once and for all. Without any further ado, let's cut to the chase. Prior to that, you of course need to switch your current local account to Microsoft account if you haven't already. So I'm going to do this right now. Please wait. Okay, um, let me sign in first. So I have successfully switched my local account to my own Microsoft account as illustrated here. You know, I must say, Windows 8 is by far hands down amazing thanks to the integration of its various desktop app provision running on its own OS. But hey, not cool when it comes to this somewhat common downside. Truth be told, I didn't formulate this workaround myself. I scoured the internet, gleaned and consolidated viable solutions to make your life easier. If all else fails, try this. I'm pretty sure this one will come as a remedy for you as it did for me. So I am going to download on um, sub subsequently install an app of the Windows App Store. <laughs> I know it's not called App Store because App Store App Store is officially being owned by Apple themselves, but I prefer I personally prefer referring it to as App Store because because it is uh, before this is called Marketplace uh, for now it's just Windows Store that's all but well just call whatever you want wh whatever that um, suits your taste buds and more comfortable to you okay all rambling aside for now I'm going to try to install this free app dictionary. Okay, let it wait and look, look, look. And to your chagrin, something uncalled for appears. And you try it again and again. You know, for me, I rebooted my computer, tried all sorts of ways suggested on the web, but to no avail. You Google for this code? nothing helps nothing at all but hey it's not the end of the world yet you have one last shot that might not go to waste so just follow what I do right alright first of all press Windows R the Windows key and R to open the run dialog now type win dir win it, it stands for windows directory and you hit enter oops something is wrong okay i forgot this percentage win dir and then this percentage symbol and you hit enter you should now be in the windows folder create if it doesn't exist already the folder called App readiness it is APP capital R E A D I N E S S app readiness don't ask me why just do that and you will be surprised later on next press Windows key R again Windows key run type MS config and hit enter okay on the services tab of the system configuration dialog box select the hide all microsoft services checkbox okay do that and you click on disable all and then on the startup tab click 
open task manager on a startup tab in task manager for each startup items each of them right disable them all one by one basically these are the things that put a damper on the downloads so once you've done that close task manager I, I don't want to disable of them because um, this is for the sake of uh, demonstration so you get a bigger idea because I have already um, resolved my own okay you close this and then you click OK after you have um, tweak all these services and start up and then just restart your PC you just restart it after the reboot try downloading an app and to your jarring discovery the downloading and installation process works like magic now you might want to reset your computer to start normally after this troubleshooting to ensure proper default startup processes. You don't want your computer to further go haywire later on. For this to happen, return to msconfig, msconfig. On the general tab, click the normal startup option. Then click on services tab, clear the checkbox beside hide all microsoft services make sure there's no check symbol here and then click enable all after that on the startup tab open task manager in task manager enable all of your startup programs all of them enable them and then click ok i don't have them here because i don't want to do it um, just now so uh, you just follow what I say as um, shown here finally restart your PC so it, it really works like magic right considering this clean boot method works well in circumventing this technical problem at hand a little reminder though resetting your computer to start normally after the clean boot might cause the download failure to occur again I don't know but I believe so logically thus it is safe to say that it is not a permanent fix every time you want to download an app follow through these steps again I understand the pain but rather than letting Microsoft do nothing about this long-standing problem we as computer users whether savvy or merely a basic user we must acknowledge the fact that Microsoft computers are vulnerable and that we must be prepared to serve as computer doctors from time to time i hope this tutorial meets your objectives do like subscribe and watch my other entertaining videos thank you for following through guys